face, for example, becomes a conductor on the other side when the smoke comes up, you know, and uh, face to face fault uh, become on this kind of fault. So, catastrophic explosion. Power was restored in a few hours to the delighted power customers. So the transformer was not uh, was not damaged at all. Only those two uh, uh, shunt reactor banks. So you can still operate the transformer because these reactor banks are not part of the transformer at all. But the brand new uh, instantaneous overcurrent protection save it. You know. So the instantaneous protection is 24,000 amps. And what is the amount of fault current we have? 44,000 amps. So probably this, this, the system's protection engineer is from CPO, you know. Just kidding. That's it. Any question? Uh, Benjamin Roloto, you have any questions? You know? Any questions here from ISAT, from our ISAT students, uh, WIT students? This is your time to shine, okay? Uh, snacks will be served pretty soon, you know, so maybe after you have your snack, we can talk again, okay? Uh, Lian, this is my presentation, and uh, if there's any more questions. I'm Arnold Lusada from WIT, sir. WIT. Bali, ilonggo lang, sir, pwede eh. Tama, git ka, pwede eh. Bali, ang babang ko, tunay ni sir, in your actual experience, bala sir, as a protection engineer, sa abroad, bala sir, ano gita ang muslim mga ginaprepare, sir, pag start sang imo work, kag ang sa normal, kag sa hindi bala normal nga kondisyon sang in, sa field, bala sir? Sa transformer protection? Yes, sir. Thank you. Ang question ni pangalan mo? Arnold, um, a question to Arnold is that when you uh, rating all the data and it will give you also the, um, the positive sequence impedance, the zero sequence impedance, and also the uh, load, the no load tap of the transformers. So from there, After you, you you take the transformer test reports, you're going to uh, pick up also the uh, transformer losses, and the transformer losses is normally like three percent of your of your rating. You know, that's like three percent and below, and you're going to utilize the transformer losses as kind of the resistance in your. Um, your positive sequence and zero sequence uh, modeling of your power transformer. Then after that, you you simulate that condition in your um, in your computer program. So this is your transformer here, and this is your um, this is the primary and the secondary. This is your delta tertiary. So the positive sequence impedance is here, the zero sequence impedance is here. When you have the transformer losses, you can model these impedances here and also here, and then you can simulate your system immediately. So the most important one is you have to get the transformer test report from the manufacturer. 
and then get all the uh, the MBA rating, and you change you you model it using your um, using your um, impedances, and uh, after that you will uh, simulate all your your fault conditions, single line to ground fault, uh, three phase fault, and then. You model your own. Uh, you model your own uh, protective relay device. Uh, your high side overcurrent or the low side uh, device, and then pick up all the uh, the fault simulations if they operate properly or not. That's it. Any more questions? Hi. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, with regards to uh, sudden pressure uh, relay, sir, uh, what is your uh, no, standard settings in terms of uh, uh, nominal uh, uh, pressure, op uh, operating pressure of uh, transformer? Well, your um, your transformer um, a manufacturer should have its own recommendation, and then our sudden pressure relay, our sudden pressure relay is. We're using Qualitrol sudden pressure relay, and uh, we cut in those most of the time. It's going to be like a, a rate of change relay, and the pressure is the sudden pressure is being um, recommended by the manufacturer. But we cut those in immediately, you know, after we finish the test, after we finish the uh, the testing, because. Uh, the Qualitrol uh, unit of sudden pressure relay uh, does not misoperate on, like on a normal system or external fault. It has a rate of change that we utilize. Yeah, some some sudden pressure relay, which being used on the distribution system, must have an overcurrent permissive on your on your uh, circuit. For example, so you have a sudden pressure relay. And you must have a a uh, overcurrent permissive supervision for that sudden pressure. You know, if it's not a qualitrol type sudden pressure relay. But all the time, uh, on our 500 kb system, we utilize sudden pressure relay, and it's normally cut in. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Sir, my question is uh, this: Why is it that despite of the uh, Installing transformer protection, there are still instances that our transformer get damaged. Despite ng may mga protection siya nga damage yaka damage yapon, may katabo. What are the major reasons? May damage yapon? Oh, yaka damage yapon. Okay. Well, um, your your transformer is made of coils, right? And the, the coil inside the transformer, when you energize it, you, on, on power simulation lab, it expands and contracts. It expands and contracts. And over time, the insulation of those um, windings uh, deteriorates. And when it deteriorates because of too much heat underneath the sun, for example, or old age, um, it becomes a. Um, it will peel off the insulation inside your windings, and there will be like turn-to-turn -turn faults. You know, small, small uh, faults become bigger. You know, and ultimately, in the long run, it will have all the gases evaporates. For example. And sometimes it even caught in fire. So most of the faults are in the uh, on the um, transformer uh, bushing, the the main tanks, the, the LTC chambers, and those are some of, some of the main features we're in for for the faults. You know, so. Because when you buy the transformer, they will uh, travel it in long distances, and sometimes during traveling also, there are some friction between your windings, and even 
on the radiators or the oil tanks. Th there's a lot of, one time there was like a, um, a bolt that was dropped inside the main tank. When the transformer comes in on the station, sometimes the bushings are not yet connected. You know, the primary bushings or the secondary bushings, those are not connected. We have experience wherein we will install the bushing in the transformer at like 115 KB and other people will, will drop the, the bolt inside the transformer. So we have to take out all the oil. And then the guy went on the hole inside the transformer and find that bushing, that uh, bolt, you know. Take us a few days, but we have to do it, you know, or else that bolt inside the transformer becomes your um, your weakest link, you know, and it will be the source of your explosion someday. Go ahead, sir. Ma, add lang ugali, sir. Ang protection engineer, sir, exempted na sa sasko, tapos. Prevention is better than cure, but always protection engineer. You are right. You know, um, um, one of some of the best characteristics of a, a very good systems protection engineer is that you graduated in electrical engineering, power probably. You graduate first, okay? Then after that, you do a lot of uh, training for become a being a all these uh, power simulation models and also um, to become a very good protection engineer you should be very good at your symmetrical components classes you know symmetrical components you know power system analysis you will have your series sequence uh, network your positive sequence network and your negative sequence network you will know all those uh, line to ground faults, your line to line faults, your double line to ground faults, and your three phase faults. You know? So, as a protection engineer, you, you must be equipped with all those the backgrounds you know, for symmetrical components, a modeling of your power transformer or your transmission line. You know what is the characteristic of a, an impedance. You have your um, your line impedance normally for a line impedance for example you have a positive sequence line impedance and a zero sequence line impedance so those are very good points to learn and uh, it will help you in the long run did i get some of your questions there what are some of the questions that you need <laughs> personal <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, uh, being being a a very good uh, power system uh, engineer, like electrical engineer, for example, in in protection, you can bring your family to work in other countries like uh, the United States, uh, Australia. Um, what you call this, uh, Canada or in the Middle East, you can bring your family with you. It depends on the visa. Uh, some companies will, will provide your visa with, for you and your family at the same time. And um, that is part of the package, you know. And then on my personal experience, I I was only given the opportunity after working for National Power Corporation to work in Guam for like nine years and then work, I studied in New York again and then come back to Guam and then from Guam to California. But the power systems protection engineer is like usually like five or 10% higher in salary compared to the regular 
electrical engineers. So like substation engineer, design engineers, they're only paid like, for example, uh, 100,000. But you, as the power systems protection engineers, you can be paid like 150,000 or 120,000. So the power systems protection engineer are one of the best in class for the, um, in, in terms of just the regular salary, but I would highly recommend you to, you know, to graduate first, you know, learn, learn the best from the university or the school where you came from. Other companies will provide you all these kind of opportunities. Good. A very good question. Very good uh, question here. Yeah, when I went to Guam, I was single and no fear, you know. So I was very young, 23 years old, and then 27, you know. But it's very nice to, to go out and uh, seek your, your destiny, you know. Learn from the experts. And if you have time, you know, come back to your university and share that knowledge transfer, okay? And you will be very well uh, appreciated, you know. Any more questions, guys? How would you like to take a 15 minutes break for our snacks and then we can have of current is about 40,000 plus. Is there any possibility that the current transformer may saturate and the relay will operate abnormally? Well, um, the, uh, the, the current transformers are designed plus or minus 10% error. And on a 40,000 amps, um, for example, your CT ratio, we're using here on the 525, uh, on the 13.8, we're using like uh, 4,000 is to 5 and a 4 is to 1 uh, uh, auxiliary CT. So 4,000 divided by 5 is like 800. 800 times 4 is like 3,200 is to 1 CT. So if you have 44,000 amps, divided by 3,200, the secondary amps are only 13.75 amps secondary. Your, your current transformers are designed up to 100 amps secondary currents. So at 100 amps secondary currents, your current transformer are not supposed to saturate you should be operating properly 100 amps and below. After 100 amps secondary and above, you have the plus or minus 10% error already. Your CT will saturate, and if you are using like a class 1200 CT at 1200 volts, that is your saturation points already. So after the 1200 volts, you will not see the correct amount of current going to your relay anymore because you saturate already. So at 44,000 amps, our relays are just still smiling. Said, hey, I can do it, you know. So you're still okay. So bear it in mind that the, the uh, protective relay CT is uh, like a class, a class, uh, a gray, uh, C the relaying class CT and the metering CT are different from your, uh, from your relaying CTs. So you have metering cities and you have uh, protective relaying cities. So the metering cities is like class B, the relaying cities is like class C, you know. Any more questions? From uh, PDP, PDPP engineers, GARCAP engineers, you know. We need more solar power from Garp Cup engineers. Then we snacks, we break it and I can have snacks. So then we'll, con we'll continue our, um, our open forum. Okay? Thank you. If you have questions to ask engineer Hisugan, you could ask them now via the microphones, which are uh, situated in the middle of this hall. If there are no more questions, then that would do it. That would conclude the second part.
of our uh, technical seminar. Now, we will be moving on to the last part of this seminar, which is the awarding of our certificates. The awarding of the certificates will, would be led by uh, Engineer Danny Molina, Dean College of Engineering. Requesting Engineer Hava and Engineer Akanto to please come up the stage to assist in the awarding of the certificates. I would like to read the certificate. Central Philippine University, College of Engineering, EEECE Department, the Institute of Integrated Electrical Engineers, CPUSC the electrical engineering class of 1985. This certificate of participation is hereby presented to, to the participants for his or her active participation on the technical seminar entitled 525KV Extra High Voltage Transformer Protection 1122 MVA and 230 KV to 18 kV hydroelectric generator protection, 400 MBA. Held at the Educational Media Center, Central Philippine University, Haro, Iloilo City, Philippines. Given this 11th day of December, in the year of our Lord, 2015, at Central Philippine University, Haro, Iloilo City, Philippines. Signed, Cesar Rico S. Acanto, Head, EEECE Department. Danny C. Molina, our Dean for the College of Engineering, and Leo B. Hisugan, our guest speaker. So uh, this certificate of participation is awarded to Danilo S. Sumalangay. Please come up the stage. The same certificate is also awarded to Carmelo Anduque. Arthur L. Peña, Florida. Eduardo Kimba. Dino Antaran. Jean Campanera, Abner Duran, Rufel Zep Armadillo, Polino Herrera. Ayan Jan R. Hernando. Jan Louis Capospos. Aldren Deleste. Edsel Aliador. Roger Balderas. Anthony Umahat. Zumel Cadenas. Jimmy Tabud. Rene Benzer. Carlitos Sepulveda. Nathaniel Gelito. Benjamin Raloto. 
Robert Gambito. Carlito Amba Jr. Engineer Albert Alig Aligarbes. Engineer Zenda Vidal. Stephen H. Mambua. Anthony Magbanua. Noelbert Estores. Christian Periodico. Manuel Jason Jr. Rodel Heradura. Liani Garcia. Nelson Lacson. Heber Caro. Reino Garcia. LJ Palma. The same uh, certificates are awarded to the pa participants from the Western Institute of Technology. So we are requesting your president or your representative to please come up the stage in behalf of your school. The student chapter president. The same certificate is awarded to the Iloilo Science and Technology University. So to the batch president or student chapter president, please get your certificates. Congratulations to all the participants and thank you very much for participating. Um, we still have certificates left. Uh, this is for the Central Philippine University participants. So to the student chapter president of CPU, please claim our certificates. Philippine University College of Engineering, EEEC Department, the Engineering Class of 1985, present this Certificate of Appreciation to the Institute of Integrated Electrical Engineers, CPUSC, for its invaluable support during the technical seminar entitled 525 kV Extra High Voltage Transformer Protection, 1122 MVA, and 230 kV to 18 kV hydroelectric generator protection, 400 MVA. Held at the Educational Media Center, Central Philippine University, Haro, Iloilo City, Philippines. Given this 11th day of December in the year of our Lord, 2015, at Central Philippine University, Haro, Iloilo City, Philippines. Signed, 